Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on removing stray hairs in an image using the dust and scratches technique that you're able to do in Photoshop, but here we're going to do it in GIMP. For this tutorial you're going to need the latest version of the stable version of GIMP or GIMP Git, and you also need the latest version of GMIC. I have GMIC QT installed here, the plugin for GIMP. And I also have changed a keyboard shortcut in order to display and hide the layer mask. So under Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, you can go to Layers, and then you want to scroll down until you find disable layer mask and I have mine set to forward slash on my numpad you just select it select the keyboard shortcut you want it to be and then you hit close so with that done we're gonna get started I'm gonna zoom into this image here by holding control and scrolling up on the mouse wheel so I can see the hair here but I'm actually going to go down to a brighter area of the image right in this area and duplicate the image. I'm going to double click the name there and rename it Hair. And with this layer selected, I'm going to go to Filters, GMIC QT. And you'll find there isn't a Dust and Speckles filter in GMIC. So what you need to do is go to Repair, the Repair drop-down. Scroll down to Remove Hot Pixels. And then just left-click and scroll to some hair in the image here. And I bring my uh, max size up to 20, and I bring the threshold all the way down. And you just wait. You can see the hair is gone there. Uncheck the preview. The hair is visible. Bring the preview back, and the hair is gone. So this is a very CPU-intensive filter. So I'm going to click Apply, and then OK and speed it up here and come back when it is done to demonstrate the rest of the tutorial. Okay, now that that is done, we go with this layer selected and we select down here, add layer mask, black full transparency, add that, or you can right click on the image and add a layer mask there, that way also. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna hit control, hold down control and scroll up to zoom in. Now I'm using a size of 18 so I can see right where I'm brushing and a hardness of 24. Now with the layer mask selected, I'm going to brush over this hair. So that I can see what's happening. And something you do notice, you may notice here, is the noise is being gone, is being taken away. So what you want to do is go over to your layer, select the actual image on the hair layer and not the layer mask. And you wanna to go to filters, noise, HSV noise. And as you can see, you get noise showing up on the image there. Now, you scroll down, it makes it much more coarse. On the holding this, uh, that might be a misspelling. I'm not really sure. This is a development version of GIMP, so. I just scroll up until I get a noise level that is close matching to the image as possible. 
Now you can do hue if you have color noise in the image. If you didn't do noise removal in dark table first to remove the color noise, you can adjust this hue, the saturation, and it'll add color noise. Uh, the other option you can adjust this is value, but you do want to watch the image fairly close. As you scroll down, it removes the noise. So I just bring it up until I get a decent uh, value that looks decent to my eye, as close matching as possible, and then hit OK. And it's going to add the HSV noise to the actual image. And once that's done, we will go back to the actual layer mask. Okay, now that that is done, we're going to select the layer mask again. And I want to show the reason why. I'm going to hold down Control, scroll out. I'm going to demonstrate why I suggest you create a layer mask and a keyboard shortcut to disable the layer mask and make it visible again. So you can see the hair here. And I'm going to hit my forward slash. And it shows just the blurred image. As you can see, you can see the areas where the hair pretty much disappears is where you're guaranteed to be able to get rid of the hair. So here, I know there's a hair here. I'm going to hit uh, forward slash again. Make sure my brush is selected. And I'm just going to paint over this hair here. Now you can go back and add noise again. Because as you can see here, there's not enough noise added in the image. Now obviously, you want to, since you're painting on a black layer mask, you want to make sure you're on the white paint here. So I'm just going to go through. I'm going to hit my backslash, make sure I can get rid of that hair there. And paint over it. Now, if you go on to their other hair, you will uh, run out of a... Uh, you don't want to go into these detail areas, but like if you want to remove hair on her face here, you want to hit backslash, make sure you can actually do it first, and then go back, and then just paint over. Now, when it's on the face, I recommend that you actually use spot healing or the clone stamp tool because you will blur detail in detailed areas as you can see there. Which is why you want to use it on an image for the hairs around the head. With a fast prime lens that blurs the background, it'll work on other images that have more stuff in focus also but you will again mess up some of your detail now when you do run into areas of hair that this technique when you disable the layer mask and you still see hair you could paint over those layers to kind of just smooth it out a little bit but uh, what I recommend you would do is actually right click on the hair layer and then do new from visible and then actually just go over to your healing brush here and just uh, select an area and then paint over to get rid of it. That works with areas on your image that uh, there's too much contrast difference to actually get rid of the hair. This will let you uh, do more fine detail work to really get rid of the hair. 
But I hope this tutorial helps. And it does speed up the editing just a little bit to help you speed up your editing styles. And please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.